So I think I figured out what happened. Um, when I put that chain together, uh, I put the master link. I'm trying to get you, I got it on the cord because my battery went dead on my phone. So I got it on the charger cord right now. So I think what happened was I had the master link facing out of the machine, out this way where my can is. And the chain sometimes makes contact with that big brake disc. And when I put the master link on, I put the opening for the master link, the clip, the retaining clip facing forward, which is in the direction of the chain travel. And I think the chain actually hit that uh, brake disc just right, popped that clip off, and then popped the master link out and it went flying. So this time I reassembled it backwards so that the master link is in towards the engine where it's not hitting on anything. And uh, yeah, it works great. So let's try that again. Get you on the, uh, on the stand here, make sure we can see what's going on. All right, let's give her a poke. So, it's a resounding success. Um, it's going to go fast. I probably have it geared too tall. Um, we'll have to see once I get it out on the ice, um, which I think I might do this weekend. Uh, I still got good solid ice on some of these smaller lakes that are sheltered and whatnot. There's no current flowing through them. Um, so I might take it up north to my lot, up, way up by Presque Isle. Um, we have still have about a foot of snow on the ground there too. Um, I don't have my cables yet, so I'm gonna have to drive it by strings. <laughs> Attach a string to the throttle to pull it I don't even think I'm going to worry about the brakes because it looks like as soon as I let off on the gas, the machine just pretty near stops. Uh, so, that being said, uh, I don't have any clunking, I don't have any banging, I don't have any implosions, I don't have any uh, rubbing. Uh, I think, like I was saying in an earlier video, yeah, just put it together and let let it machine itself out, you know. I think that's actually what happened on the track, where the track was rubbing on the tunnel. Because if I look at the edges of my track now, they're all nice and smooth. And when I run it at a high, at full throttle like that, and then I touch the edge of the track, it's not even warm. So the first run that I did, after the first run, um, it was warm. So I think it... The track basically machined itself against the side of the tunnel and now it's clearancing just fine. Uh, no weird ka chunk ka chunk ka chunks anymore. I think everything is meshing the way it should. The belt is nice and the track is nice and tight. The clips, track clips, thanks a lot, Bert. You saved my life. Um, actually, you saved this project. You didn't save my life, you saved this project. Uh, those are holding up. I'm looking at them right now, and they're looking great. Um, I think I think we're good to go. I think she's finally done. So uh, outside of the the cables for throttle and the brake, um, and and just a good cleanup, 
I think the machine is finished and uh, ready to be used just in time for summer. So uh, once I get it all washed up and polished up and everything like that, of course, if I go up north Sunday, um, I will videotape the first run, you know, get that on film for you guys so you can see it. But hanging in the air right here, uh, full throttle, wide open throttle. Um, she's good to go. I left the governor on this motor connected. Um, Tim on his track sled, he wanted to get, he had a gear differently and he, he, he didn't feel he was getting enough speed out of it. He wanted to try to hit that 20 miles an hour mark. Um, me, I would rather have low end torque off the line, um, because the machine is so heavy. So I want it to be able to pull itself you know, and get started easily in deep snow and slush. Uh, he wanted more top end speed. I think he might change his tune once he gets it out on a on a deep snow slushy lake. He might sing a different song. So uh, I'm gonna try to find some snow, some deeper snow up north. I still, last time I checked, I had about a foot and a half up there. I'm gonna try to find some deeper snow up there to test it out on and uh, I'm also going to test it out on the ice on the bare ice um, yeah yep I'm super stoked I think we got her <laughs> stay tuned for the for the big maiden voyage <laughs>